Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to an insane video. These people at King's Isle, they're doing insane things. As I said, I was gonna try to cover as many teasers as possible this time around because I'm very excited about the upcoming test drop. And this teaser is no different. In fact, it gives us a little bit of a look into what one of the biggest components of test drop is gonna be. Without further ado, let's get right into this tweet that, that, that Wizard 101 put out yesterday on April Fool's Day. Now, if you look at this, I have a few things to say about this. One, the comment on this picture says, uh, and I quote, they, they, they said, gear up for next week's opening of Test Round. Now, there's a lot to unpack in this picture, in the caption, all of that. King's Isle has never said when they're gonna put out Test Realm, but also the fact that it's on April Fool's Day makes it so that they have a very convenient exit in terms of when Test Realm is gonna be out. I have a couple of theories on this one. One, we can just take their word on it, and there actually is Test Realm next week, but I, I, I don't know about that one. That's one theory. The second one is that this is a very convenient time to put this announcement out because if they go behind schedule, they can be like, you know what? We're just going to put it next week and then, you know, say April Fool's. I've heard both of these theories in multiple places. People have been told to tell me about this. I don't know how to feel about this announcement. That's all I'm going to say as far as a time frame. But I also do think that the picture is really, really cool. And we're going to talk about this and just, just talk about what I hope it is. And maybe it'll line up. Who knows? So one thing right away, it's not a coincidence that in the last KI Live, they talked about the Grizzleheim lore spells coming out with Spellman Pats. And this is a Grizzleheim boss. Clearly, it's a skeleton key boss. Clearly, there's a whole gear set. It's a skeleton key boss. We also saw a skeleton key boss teaser in the last KI Live. So there's a lot of reasons to believe that these bosses will be dropping Spellament. Now, I, I, I gotta say something about this. I really do hope that the boss itself is farmable and repeatable. I think that if it is specifically Spellaments, it is very, very difficult to get a lot of Spellaments if the boss isn't repeatable. So when we're talking about the repeatability, right, of a boss, um, there, there's two ways I think they can go about this, and this could actually, you know, actually affect the Spellament drop rate a lot. So I don't know if you guys know, but I've actually farmed max Spellaments up to seven pips on not one, but two characters. I'm working on a third at the moment, and it's actually much, much harder than you would think, but the good news is, the final boss of Caramel always drops at least one Spellman, if not two, and it's a very repeatable boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, it's not easy. Uh, if you do team up like I do, you can have some very horrendous runs, but this overall, it's a very easy dungeon in, this, in the sense that if you have a decent strategy or an overall understanding, you can do one run in about 20 minutes. That's one route that they can take. Now, the other route that they can take is what they did with this boss, the Fathomless Tomb. I, it, this is a crazy ass boss. I do not recommend doing this, but basically the reason why it's so hard is because you can literally get a Dragoon piece from the boss. Yes, it's random, but considering that every piece of Dragoon armor is worth literally, like, I, I want to say 480 of these, and you can only really get 10 at a time per boss run of a, of, of a medium-length dungeon. It, this is a very rare drop if you think about getting 480 of them, if you really think about it. So I understand why they made this boss difficult. My hope is that difficulty-wise, is a skeleton key boss that drops spellments very regularly, incre in, and including uh, the ability to actually get the 30 drop. And I also hope that it's repeatable. Now, I hope they also keep it creative, but these are a lot of asks, right? I want something that's creatively challenging, but once you figure it out, I hope that it's rep repeatable so that you can actually farm spellaments. Now, on the topic of spellaments, if you really, if they really are going to add spellaments, right? If you think about it, that means that we're going to have completely different spells. One thing I hope they really do is uh, not just work, not just, you know, change the utility or the damage of the Grizzleheim spells. I hope that they work on the actual pip cost so that they can make these spells more usable. Like right now, for example, right? Hammer of Thor removes a charm, which is like, like a negative charm, like a weakness, which is really good, but you only get to do 475 damage. Not to mention with the Solar Cert change, you don't even get the full 300 enchant on this because it's only a 5 pip spell. The way the spell works, I believe that you only get 250, which makes this only a 725 damage spell. Now, that's not bad, don't get me wrong, but considering the fact that you're generally using this as a finishing shot, you 
you you don't you you wouldn't mind if you could shield a few times to build up the pips to hit through a weakness with this. I think this would be a much better spell if it were higher pips. So I hope that they add spellment upgrade pads so you can make it six pips or even seven pips so that they can increase the damage. I think the same can be said for both Grendel's amends and Ratatata. You know, I think what holds them back are their pip values. I think. Like the Ratata Tasker spin, however you say that, it, would be, it could be a lot better if it were maybe a two pip AoE. Imagine that. I don't even know what that would look like, but that would be kind of cool. And imagine if Grendel's amends. Maybe that one, I, I guess it could give a utility, but maybe it could just be, you know, more pips for a higher heal so you can use it in an emergency situation. I don't know. But if they are going to upgrade the pets, I hope that they do what they did with Caramel spells. Because I feel like th this this is really dope. I, I, I like what they do with these. Because you really, there's no right answer. You know, you could do something for very small or for very long, depending on your play style. And I think this is the best mode of customizability that we've gotten so far. Now, let's talk about the aesthetics on this teaser. Let's talk about the aesthetics of the gear from the Skeleton Key bosses. So, one, obviously... It's Grizzleheim themed. You see some glowing Grizzleheim armor. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's take a look at the Grizzleheim armor right now. Let's look at this and you'll see what I'm talking about right away. I've always been struck by by how ugly Grizzleheim armor truly is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to people who disagree with this, but I, no, let's look. That ugly air. Look at that ugly air. But look at this. I've used this. But it's still kind of ugly, you know, like, like, where were all these scales and the eyes and beaks on the armor? What the hell? Like, who the hell would wear this? I don't understand. What am I going to? I don't... I'm so confused. I feel like they tried something with Grizzleheim armor in the past. You know, they made it, like, you know, animalistic, I guess. You know, a little spiritual, a little in touch with nature. But I never really got that. What I really got was pretty scuffed armor that really doesn't look good with stitches. Now, this, cosmetically... It looks hella pleasing, bro. I really like it. So, cosmetically, right away, as far as what we know, it looks like not only is it going to be glowing a little bit, it looks like they're, I don't know, they have symbols next to them for every single school. Now, it's very rare that we actually see glowing pieces of armor like this. The fact that they actually put in this much work actually makes me think that this gear might be very, very powerful. I know that's a huge reach. I get it. But to give you a context, right, the only, as far as I know, the only other gear in this game that, like, at, like has an animation on it is Beast Moon gear. Like, if you do a ton of Beast Moon, right, you'll get this, like, glowing-ass, you know, like, you, you'll get some glowing-ass armor. Look at this, bro. Like, like, you get a nice-ass cape, you know, some some glowing-ass, like, it, it, it has a little, you know, little, 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 uh, uh, symbol that moves a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And this is extremely hard to get. So the fact that they put this much work into actual equipment makes me think that this might actually be better gear or at least comparable to Dragoon gear and Uber gear. And I think that's very likely, especially because last time that they put out a Skeleton Key boss right after a world came out, I believe it was uh, the armor that was an upgrade to Malister armor. So basically like the Tennyson robe is what I'm talking about. And if you look at the Tennyson robe, it's actually pretty damn good compared to uh, the other version, which is a Malister robe in that that it adds some stats like damage and resist but and health but it also gives up other stats depending on the school that you're on so i hope that they do this actually because i actually think that right now both uber gear and dragoon gear like if you compare them they're very, very similar, and the problem is Dragoon Gear actually comes with a gear set. I think where Uber Gear fell very short was that because there's no gear set, there's really no reason to use more than one piece of the gear. So either they make a gear set for this upcoming gear, or maybe it'll just be just like Tennyson and Malister, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be something where they'll like, you know, mimic some of the some of the stats but you know maybe instead of healing they'll give more accuracy or maybe instead of block they'll give more hp maybe they'll trade off some of the cards there are a lot of options that they have here i hope that they get creative at least with the item cards because i want a reason to use the new gear over the dragoon gear that's what i hope that they do guys overall i'm really excited about what they do with this test trial especially considering just in this one teaser we can open up a discussion about spells and how they're gonna change new aesthetic options and also new gear combos that we can use in pvp right 
I mean, these are all different things. Just from one small part of the spring update that could completely change how we play Wiz. I would love to hear y'all's opinions on the upcoming skeleton key bosses. What do you, what, what do y'all think the gear should look like? What do you think the spellman paths should look like? Do you like how the gear looks? Let me, what do you think about when test realm's gonna drop? That's the biggest thing. Is it really gonna be next week? I don't know if I trust them. They really, they could have done it on March 30th. 31st is there a march 31st i think there's a march 31st i they could have done it on april 2nd i just don't know why they chose the first because now i don't know who to trust why to trust them why, why am i the april fool of the situation but yeah y'all i'd love to hear y'all's opinions in the comments let me know drop a drop a sub if you're new drop a like if you enjoyed there's tons of links in the description including my twitch my twitter my discord my instagram and of course my patreon and as always if somebody hasn't told you're awesome today they doing something wrong so stay awesome and yeah, y'all.